I think I have one of the best jobs in the world. I work in the Environmental Affairs Department whose mission is to protect wildlife and wetlands and bats and birds and all kinds of natural resources. In 2009, EDPR was one of the first wind companies to develop a corporate environmental policy. We are dedicated to ensure that we're avoiding, minimizing impacts to wildlife and other natural resources. That is the reason why we do a lot of wildlife and natural resources studies. When we first take a look at a project and we think that this might be a good project for us, we first go out and we survey the land. It's called a site characterization study. Landowners can expect to see some environmental field crews checking either for vegetation that we need to avoid or for species that we need to protect. At each of our wind projects, we're going to do pre and post construction wildlife monitoring. Uh, we're meeting with environmental agencies, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, the Department of Natural Resources for that particular state to talk about the sensitive environmental issues. Some of the common studies that we do at all our projects are avian studies, wetland studies, cultural resource studies. We reach out to you know, tribes or to state historical preservation offices to ensure that we're avoiding any impacts to those resources. We've done avian use surveys, raptor nest monitoring, raptor banding, and burrowing owl surveys. That really helps us assess what our impacts could potentially be and make sure that the wind farm isn't having any effect on wildlife. EDPR cares deeply about the communities that we work in, and we have health and safety standards that go above and beyond what's required in the communities. Safety is very important at EDPR. When designing our wind farms, we make sure that the setback from occupied homes, from barns, from public roads is maintained. A setback is a condition that is put in place to protect for issues like sound or visual flicker. As I talk to you now, I can see turbines over in the background that are running and obviously you can't hear them. I know that early on before we were built, that was a big concern that we were gonna have a lot of invasive noise that would bother everybody and that's not the case. The wind turbines produce noise, but we want to ensure that that level is appropriate for any resident living in the communities where we operate. We do noise modeling in the development process, and then we'll conduct post-construction noise monitoring when required, and that's where we'll actually send someone out to the field to a landowner's house to ensure that turbine is operating within a safe noise level. Similar to noise analysis, we also conduct shadow flicker analysis. Modern turbines are pretty large, and that can result in shadows. We want to ensure that no resident is experiencing excess hours of shadow flicker, and in the cases where they may be, we work with the landowner to install trees or blinds to ensure that there are no long-term effects. Wind energy is great from an environmental standpoint. It doesn't pollute the air. Compared to the other energy resources, it has very, very minimal impacts to wildlife. Wind, we refer to as a drought-resistant cash crop, and it's able to allow those farmers who are dependent upon the rain to continue to maintain income, even if they're experiencing a drought condition that's harming their current operations. So we really understand that we're coming into somebody's land and we really want to respect that. EDPR values the preservation of open spaces and wildlife habitat, and our wind farms allow for both wildlife and ranchers and farmers to continue to use that land where the wind farm is located. We do everything possible throughout the development of the project to make sure that we're respecting the land and respecting the resources that are in the land.